Okay, good morning, second grade. How are you guys doing today? Miss you all. Um, we're on lesson 137. That's page 273. So page 273, lesson 137. So page 273, so rip that out. Page 273, page 273. We're on April 22nd, lesson 137. So today, um, you should be doing the video on April 22nd. Okay, page 273, remember Bone? Let's go ahead and read this. I couldn't fit all of this on the board, so we're going to read it together as a class. Or you at home and me here. Okay, ready? Remember the suffix spelling rules. So we're uh, we already taught this, so this is review the, the um, suffix spelling rules, okay? The first one, when a root word ends with one consonant and the vowel is short, you double the consonant, remember, before adding a suffix beginning with a vowel. For example, big plus er equals bigger. So we're doubling the consonant, we're doubling the G, and then we're adding the ER, especially because big, it has the short vowel sound, I, 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 that's the short vowel sound, the short I is I, big, okay? Bigger, bigger. So we double the consonant, right? Double the G, and then we add the ER. Now, the second rule, let's, let's review the second rule, okay? When the root word, ends with a silent E. You drop the E before adding a suffix that begins with the vowel. So for example, large plus er equals larger. So you drop the E, then you add ER, right? You drop the silent E, because you can't hear large. You drop the silent E before adding the suffix that begins with a vowel. Okay, so the suffix, um, okay, so let's go ahead and do our puppy palm print now. That means we're learning something new. So this is the new thing, remember? Okay, so I have it on the board also, but we'll read this first. You add ER to an adjective when comparing two things. So you're adding ER when comparing two things. You add EST, E-S-T, to an adjective when comparing three or more things. So two things is ER, three or more things is EST, E-S-T, I'm comparing three more things. And I have it on the board here. So here we go. When we have ER suffix, you use that when comparing only two things. ER is only when comparing, when we're only comparing two different things, only two different things. When we have E-S-T, EST, is when we compare three or more things. So three or more is E-S-T, est, okay, second grade, and E-R is when you're comparing only two things, only two things with E-R, okay? So remember that, okay, remember that. E-R with comparing two things, E-S-T comparing three things, okay, second grade. Let's go ahead and look at the example in the red before we move on to number one, okay? So your example in the red. Are we on the bottom? John is taller than James. Er, they're using, so E-R, taller, we're, they're using E-R when comparing to the two boys, Jane, John and James. John is taller than James. So they're using E-R. Remember when we use E-R, when comparing two things, right? And so the next sentence is the John is the tallest boy in his class. So they're comparing several boys, probably more than three. So that's why they use tallest. Tallest, est, we use comparing with three or more. Okay, three or more. So that's why they used tallest, okay? So um, let's do number one. Number one says, read the sentences, write the correct adjective in the blank. Okay, is everybody ready? Get your pencil ready. Here we go, we're gonna do some work. All right, ready? Our new tent is nice, blank, than our old one. 
So we're gonna use the word nice because they give it to us in parentheses. So what are we gonna write there? Nicer or nicest. So our new tent is blank than our old one. How many things are they comparing? Only two, very good. So when we're comparing only two, the only two tents, the old tent and the new tent, only two things we're comparing, so what do we use? That's right, E-R. So we're gonna add E-R to nice. So we spell it N-I-C, and then we drop the silent E, and we add E-R, very good. Nicer. Our new tent is nicer than our old one. Very good job. The next sentence, the hike we took today was short blank than yesterday's hike. So how many things are they comparing? Well, for sure they're comparing the hike, right? And they're comparing the two hikes. Yeah, the today's hike and the yesterday's hike. Only two things they're comparing. So are we gonna use shorter or shortest? That's right, shorter, very good. Shorter. Okay, so you add ER, shorter. And the next one, that is the long blank snake I have ever seen. So what are they comparing it to? To a lot of snakes that they've seen their whole life, right? So what are we gonna put there, longer or longest? That's right, longest, good job. That is the longest snake I have ever seen. Good job. And then the last sentence, I could not fit, so you'll do that on your own. And then number two, where it says to add the suffixes to the root words. So we're gonna add the suffixes to the root words here, okay? So we have icy, green, and yummy. We're gonna add ER to those and then EST to those words too. All right, is everybody ready? Okay, good. Get your pencils ready. Here we go. So we're going to say I see your, right? So how do we spell that? So I see, we have, we have to change the Y to the I, very good. And add ER, good, I see her. Then the next one is green. So, or I'm um, sorry, actually let's not go to green yet. I forgot this one. So I see her and I see, I see us. very good. I, C, change the Y to an I, right? And add E, S, T. Very good, I see us. Okay, and then green. So we're gonna put green what? Greener, very good. Greener. So we're just adding the ER. We're not doing anything to the word. Greener. Then this is? Greenest, very good. Greenest, okay, greenest. And then this one is yummier, very good. We change the Y to an I, very good. And add the suffix E-R. Good job, we change the Y to the I, and we added the E-R. And then this one will be yummiest. Yummiest. So Y U M M. Same thing. We change the Y to an I and add the suffix S. E S T. So yummiest. Okay? Yummiest. All right. Dictation. Dictation. Aaron is practicing his cursive writing. So on his first test, he did a good job. So write good job. So write good in front of job. Write good. Good job. And then on his next test, he did a gooder job. No, not gooder. I was just kidding. What would I say? He did a better job. Good. So write better next to job. So you get it? The first one is good job, so write good. The second one is better job, so please write better. Better. 
And on his last test, he did the goodest job he has ever done. No, not goodest. I was just kidding again. So what would I say? He did the best job. Very good. Right? Best job, okay? Best. So good job, better job, best job. Okay. And um, you're going to turn to the next page and you're going to do page 274 for independent work like normal. Um, and then I want you guys to try your, do your best job, okay? So I miss you guys. Have a good day.